item. One of the little springs on the inside of the door. This mechanism just attached itself. It's just a weak spring. That's all the time, doesn't it? No, this is a different one actually. Oh. There's two like copper blocks, copper brass blocks inside here, and essentially a spring just clicked out. It's just you know these things have. They're actually, they're actually really well made. But uh, as I always say about jobs on boats, you know, most of the time it's, uh, you know, really small fiddly jobs. You know, occasionally you need a bloody great sledgehammer. But uh, for most of the jobs that we do, when I say we, I clearly mean me. So. As I was walking down the street one day, I saw a house on fire. Come on. We should award a prize for anyone who can tell me without using Shazam where that's from. As I was walking down the street one day, I saw a house on fire. There above me, standing on a second floor building. YouTube won't let me sing the rest of that. Hmm. Probably for the best. I don't think that many of our viewers will see the funny side of that song. It's one of the greatest pieces of comedy ever written. <laughs> Seriously. It has to be taken within context, I think. No. No? No. Alright. Greatest living comedian ever. No, greatest living comedians in no particular order. Hang on a minute. Spike Milligan, number one. Number two, Peter Cook. Right? So basically, those two as comedians can do absolutely no wrong. Number three, Eddie Izzard. <laughs> was a genius. I, I, I think that that song is hilarious but I just think maybe you have to have a certain type of humour to think like it's bad that song. You mean it's bad? Bad it's as like, in Michael Jackson bad? No it's bad as in like it's horrible. It's a horrible song. <sighs> I actually got this camera out because the sun came out for like a whole five seconds and there was a nice little view of the village but now the sun's gone back in and it's all brand horrible outside again. You know what? This reminds me of that weekend, that week we spent up the bloody east coast in 2012 because you didn't have a passport. Yeah, that wasn't my fault. It was your government's fault. So the weather has been absolutely terrible for... When I say absolutely terrible, it's not been that bad. It's just been grey and rainy and windy. It's not like it's been kind of, you know like we've been stuck in a hurricane or anything so I've got perspective but um, it's not been very pleasant over the last few days um, and we've been in Green Turtle Key and unfortunately we've not really had the weather to enjoy Green Turtle Key as much as I think we would have done if it had been sunny and lovely um, been into town a couple of times the town is very sweet uh, very picturesque um, got quite a bit of character, but you know, there's not really been many people around because everyone's been hiding from the elements. Um, yeah, but the sun is starting to come out a little bit now, and hopefully that continues. And according to the forecast, we've still got like a day and a half of average weather, um, but I'm hoping that the forecast is not. 100% correct. It's been pretty off the mark for the last few days, so hopefully that continues and it's uh, better than expected. I'm so sick of the rain. I just can't wait for the sun to come back out. It's been like this for three days and I'm over it. <laughs>
the entire boat just rattled. <laughs> that was insane. Okay, I think it's moving away from us now. <clears throat> the rain's easing up. There's longer time between um, the lightning and the thunder. The thunder doesn't seem so loud. So I'm hoping that's it. That was kind of scary. <laughs> It was cool. It is cool. It's still happening. It's cool, but it's scary. It's like at this point, I start wondering whether there's any moths in the anchorage that are taller than us. Yeah. All right. So the thunderstorm has passed, and now we have like the calmest anchorage that I think that we've ever been in. Nick slept through the entire thing. Hi. Reckon in half an hour we'll have clear skies. There'll be sunshine. It's not clear because there'll be sight. I reckon. I don't trust. In all fairness, the one app that seems to always be right is um, dark skies. All right then. I'm, I'm happy to trust that. If it tells me that there's gonna be nice weather today, I'll trust that. But how beautiful is this anchorage now? It's insane. Suddenly everyone's popping out of their boats and going. I don't can't remember actually. You know what? We've been this is our third season cruising the Caribbean. Yeah. I cannot remember three days of rain. No, me neither. Mm. Alright, so we decided to make a break for it. Um, the forecast today is, I think, about 14 to 18 knots from the south. Um, but that's not what we're seeing at the moment. We're seeing pretty calm conditions and I see a lot of blue sky that's hopefully coming our way. So we've got low water in an hour and a half, so we're going to make a break for it and try and cross the whale. The whale key cut has a fearsome reputation in the Abacos. It's a very small passage that passes between the inland protected Ab Sea of Abaco and the Atlantic Ocean. The problem is that when you get the sea coming in and it's running a large swell, it can be really, really rough. So when we look to the whale passage, we look to the weather, we look to see what the swell's like and then make a determination as to when to leave. <laughs> 